Do you know why a newborn's first cry is so important? This moment, filled with raw emotion and anticipation, signals the beginning of a new life. It's a crucial sign of a healthy newborn, a moment eagerly awaited by healthcare professionals and parents. The first cry echoes through the delivery room, marking the baby's successful transition from the womb to the world. It's not just a sound, it's a symphony of life, a testament to survival and adaptation. The first cry is more than just a sound, it's a signal of life. So, what exactly does that first cry signify? Let's break it down. Firstly, it's all about lung expansion and oxygenation. Inside the womb, a baby's lungs are filled with fluid. The first cry helps to expel this fluid, allowing the lungs to fill with air and begin the crucial process of oxygen exchange. This transition from fetal to neonatal circulation is essential for the baby to breathe independently. Secondly, a robust cry immediately after birth is a strong indicator of good respiratory health. It shows that the baby's airways are clear and that their lungs are functioning effectively. Thirdly, the act of crying also plays a part in the significant cardiovascular changes that occur as the baby adapts to life outside the womb. The circulation pattern changes from the fetal circulation, where blood bypasses the lungs, to a pattern where the lungs are central to blood oxygenation. Fourthly, crying can be a natural response to the physical stress of birth. It's a sign that the baby's nervous system is functioning and reacting to the new environment. Lastly, the sound of a baby's first cry often stimulates emotional and physiological responses in parents, particularly in mothers. This can enhance bonding and prompt breastfeeding, which is beneficial for both the mother and the baby. From clearing the lungs to stimulating parent-infant bonding, the first cry plays a multifaceted role in a newborn's life. Did you know that a newborn's cry is part of their first health assessment? Yes, it's incorporated into what's known as the APGAR score, a quick test performed one and five minutes after birth. This score assesses the baby's heart rate, breathing, muscle tone, reflex response, and color. Some babies might need a little help to get started with their breathing, but don't worry. Healthcare professionals are trained to provide the necessary interventions. In essence, the first cry is a powerful tool in assessing a newborn's health and determining their immediate care needs. So let's quickly recap why that first cry is so crucial. It signifies lung expansion and oxygenation, a key transition for the baby's breathing. It's a robust sign of good respiratory health and significant cardiovascular changes. It's a natural response to birth stress, indicating a functioning nervous system. It triggers bonding and care responses in parents, and it's an essential part of the APGAR score, a health assessment tool. Next time you hear a newborn's first cry, remember, it's not just a sound, it's a symphony of life's first moments.